Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Puru Dhawan and today I am going to discuss a critical topic how to manage stage 5 kidney disease. Managing stage 5 kidney disease is challenging but not impossible. Understanding the underlying causes, slowing the progression of the kidney damage and maintaining overall health are crucial steps. So let's see now the essential management strategies. Step 1 identify and address the underlying causes if the damage to your kidney is due to the high blood pressure or high sugar level these conditions must be brought under control proper management of these conditions can slow the progression of the kidney damage along with this regular monitoring of the blood pressure and sugar levels with appropriate medication is also important second step Address rapidly increasing creatinine levels. Rapidly increasing creatinine level is a matter of concern. In such cases, the reason should be identified. Most of the time, metabolic acidosis is responsible for this rapid increase. This condition must be treated promptly. A proper follow-up with doctor's advice can effectively help to manage this issue. Third step, your physical condition also matters. Your physical strength plays a crucial role here. Symptoms such as loss of appetite, vomiting, rapid weight loss and body weakness can indicate the need for urgent dialysis. Now I hope you have understood well these three factors which guide the management of the end stage kidney failure. Moving further, let's talk about dialysis. Most of the kidney failure patients favor to avoid dialysis as they think that dialysis is a lifetime process. But actually, this is wrong. Dialysis is a treatment that can be adjusted to fit each patient's need and doesn't have to be a lifelong commitment. The frequency of the dialysis session totally depends upon the patient's health condition. However, there are certain situations when it becomes necessary to go for a dialysis. Number one, patient is not facing any warning signs or problem in their body, but the creatinine level is very much high. Let's say around 11 or 12 mg per deciliter. In such cases, it's become important to go for dialysis to remove waste product from the blood. This is required urgently so that the patient can have a proper treatment further for their kidneys. Only after the removal of the waste from the body, the body starts absorbing the required medication and other nutrient properly. Number two. Patient is having high creatinine levels even after having a kidney transplant. In such cases, the creatinine levels start rising because the patient's body has rejected the transplanted kidney. So medication might not be effective. So there are two options for that patient, either a kidney retransplant or lifetime dialysis. Now comes an important key aspect of managing stage 5 kidney disease and that is focus on natural way to improve your kidney functions. Here are some important tips. Follow a kidney friendly diet low in sodium, potassium and phosphorus. Monitor your fluid intake to prevent overloading of your kidneys. Engage in light physical activities to maintain overall health and reduce stress on your kidneys. So concluding this video here, managing stage 5 kidney disease or end stage kidney failure involves a comprehensive approach. This includes controlling underlying condition, timely dialysis, and natural method to boost the kidney function. By following these strategies, patients can improve their quality of life and managing their condition effectively. I hope you have understood today's concept very well. Still, you have any queries, you may ask in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Till then, take care, bye-bye and namaste.